Hi, my name is Corban and welcome to the latest episode of my gaming pickup series. In this video, I'm going to be covering some games on the Sony console. I have an awful lot to get through as I've got a bit of a backlog with my camera being away on holiday a few weeks ago. So I'm just trying to uh, get all caught up and that way I can box up the games, put them into storage or into the to be played soon collection. Um, what I may end up doing with this one, um, I've got games on the PlayStation Portable, uh, PlayStation 2 in front of me. I've also got some PS3, 4 and Vita games to the side. So depending on time, I might do this in one video, I might do it in two. Um, we'll see how we get on um, and I'll just keep an eye on how long the video is. Um, I'm going to start with the, Vita, uh, the po uh, PlayStation Portable though. And something that I got from CEX um, this week, which... Is not really a big thing, but it's something that I thought was quite an oddity um, and perhaps telling of the time that the PlayStation Portable came out, and that is a PlayStation Portable memory card. Now this cost me all of 25 pence, and if I can get into focus, you can see it is a grand sum of 32 megabytes. Now I've taken photos on this camera that would nearly fill this memory card. That being said, though, it's quite interesting that they were that small. The only ones, like I said, 25 pence. And um, the woman even said to me when she sold it, I feel bad charging you for this. And I said, no, no, I bought it because it's a bit of an oddity. I'll stick it with the other PlayStation Portable memory cards that I've got. Okay, the games, though. I got some games um, over the last few weeks, um, four or five weeks now, I think I've been collecting. Um, and I've got some for the PlayStation Portable that will go through today. Um, so we'll start with World Tour Snooker, um, not really a game a lot of people will find interesting but it's one that I actually really enjoyed uh, growing up with the PlayStation Portable. Um, in fact I was very very into Snooker uh, during the, the years that followed this and played it quite a bit with one of my friends Andy um, and absolutely adored that game, it was really fun to play and really really intuitive. Uh, a couple of other games though, so we've got uh, Killzone Liberation. I've not played any of the Killzone games, but I've got a couple of them now. Um, in fact, when I was talking to a friend of mine about getting the Killzone games, he'd mentioned that the PlayStation Portable one was pretty exceptional, so when I saw it, I, I picked it up this weekend. Um, that was one that I got off the car boot, I think. Um, also, my third copy of Need for Speed Carbon Own the City. Uh, I bought this three times and I keep making the mistake with PlayStation Portable games of not opening them up and checking the condition of the, the UMD. Um, so what you'll find is with a lot of the second-hand UMDs, people haven't really looked after them or they're just a bit flimsy really. And this top plastic cover here comes away or pushes in or um, just generally gets damaged. And I've had two copies of this that that has happened to but this one is in pretty good condition so it will replace the one that I've uh, super glued back together in my collection currently. Um, next we have Dumb and Dumber, uh, the original Dumb and Dumber film on UMD. Um, don't really buy U UMD movies but this one was in with uh, a bundle of games so figured why not. Um, and a second copy of the Sega Mega Drive collection. I recently got this um, and I think I've covered it in a video. Um, but it's one of my favourite uh, games, again, on the PlayStation Portable. It's got a few decent games on there. Fantasy Star 2, 3 and 4, Sonic 1, Echo, Alex the Kid, Kid Chameleon. Um, you know, just really, really good games. And it was only a pound. So I figured I paid £4 in cash converters for a copy. But when I saw this for a pound, I grabbed it because, again... UMDs can be a bit flimsy or can get damaged and I'd like a backup just in case that one ever gets damaged on me because I do enjoy it so much. Uh, next we have Worms Open Warfare. I'm suddenly getting a bit of deja vu. If this was in my last video and the next couple I apologise. I've, I've been that swamped. I've just not had a chance to sort out properly. But I do like Worms games. I've got the original one on the PlayStation 1 as well as all of them apart from Armageddon which I think was the second one. Um, really, really fun games. Just a 2D uh, game where you do battle against other worms. Next, Tomb Raider Legend. Don't know too much about this. I've got the PlayStation 1 Tomb Raider games. And again, getting some deja vu. I think I have covered these last couple, so I apologise. So I'm just going to flip through them quickly. Uh, Lemmings. And finally, Prince of Persia Revelations. Okay. 
that's the PlayStation Portable games out of the way. I'll just move them over there so I've got some room. Um, I'm going to see if I can budge the cat because this next game is quite big and there you go, good cat. Um, so, first up on the PlayStation 2 we have a game and accessory um, and it's in its original box. Now I know it's not a valuable game and I know that it's probably only a couple of pounds but um, don't often come across them in this sort of condition where if I open up the top here you'll see it looks like it's just never been played with. Um, you can see the camera is still in the case, all, yeah, you can tell very well in there, but the cable's all threaded through. It looks like it's just not been played with, um, which is pretty for, uh, pretty special for me. Um, I don't get many new games, and I'm not sure if I'll play iToy 3. I did have a collection of games when I had a, a PlayStation 2, but no iToy camera. Um, and when I got rid of my PlayStation 2, I got rid of them. Um, Next up we've got a few filler games, but a few good games in amongst them. Um, most of them have come from a bundle or from car boots. Um, so this one was in a bundle, Tour de France. Um, not one that I'd normally get or play. Um, in fact, I have a particular hatred for push bikes at the moment because whenever I'm out driving, um, they're always on the road and they're always doing my head in because they're driving in the middle of the road or side by side or they're just generally being a nuisance um so yeah i have some very choice things to say to them as i pass them anywho and we do digress um next we have lord of the rings the two towers on the playstation 2 i've been trying to get these on the original xbox the lord of the rings games um on the recommendation of my cousin uh, who said they were truly great so i'm going to give them a look once i've got the full set um the incredibles which i think i now have on PS2, GameCube and Xbox, um, not too fussed about that one if I'm honest, I do like The Incredibles, don't get me wrong, in fact I'm a big fan of anything Disney and certainly superheroes, but not the game. Uh, complete filler game though, FIFA 06, it's a FIFA though that I don't have on the PS2 so I'm not uh, too worried about that, I'm glad that I've got it. Um, and one that I am ecstatic about trying, uh, I really hope this is good because I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, really, really enjoy the game, uh, the movie. So I'm hoping the game's going to be as good. Um, another one here that I'm kind of looking forward to playing. I know it's only a racing game, but I didn't know that this one exists, and that's Space Race. Uh, but it features all of the Warner Brothers characters. You see, uh, Wiley Coyote, Daffy Duck, Sylvester, and Bugs on the front there. So it looks like it might be quite fun. I can see your 70s Sam and Elmer Fudd on the back as well. Um, I'm guessing it's just going to be a Mario Kart type clone, but for the sake of, I think it was only 50p a pound, I, I figured I'd give that one a try. Um, recently the car boots have been a bit bad for finding anything that's not football, um, but this was on a stall along with this one, um, Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter. Um, you can ignore the 10 euro, I'm guessing it wasn't euro, I'm guessing it was 10 pounds price tag. Um, I think the chap did the both of them for a pound. Um, and again, just looks like it's going to be quite a fun game. Um, a bounty hunting game where you're in space. Um, so it could be cool. It could be terrible. I, I have no idea. I'm going to give it a look. Uh, another one though for my uh, PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero collection. Or my Guitar Hero collection in general. Um, Guitar Hero Rock the 80s. Looking at this one, there's some great songs on there. Holy Diver, I see. Uh, Turning Japanese. Actually, I'm saying there's loads of great songs on there, but there's really, it looks like it might all be glam rock. I'll give it a look. It might be fun to play. Um, I do love me a bit of Guitar Hero. Next, we have a movie crossover game, and that is Reservoir Dogs. Uh, someone has tried to take the sticker off here and has made a dog's dinner of it, but... Um, the game's in good condition, which is all that matters. Um, I don't know if the game will be any good compared to the movie, but again, it's got to be worth a look, right? Uh, one game that I seem to always pick up um, whenever I see it, and that is, well, it's more of a franchise thing. If ever I see a franchised game in Grand Theft Auto, I tend to buy it. Um, so I saw Vice City. It's complete with the map. Um, so that went uh, straight into the pile of games I was buying. Uh, next one, I'm looking at the cover, I might have this one, Medal of Honor Rising Sun. 
not really a big first person shooter fan but it's got to be worth uh, picking up every now and then uh, Pez 6 don't really do football I've got a lot of games here that I don't really do but again a lot of bundles um, in the last few weeks so I've got a few duplicates um, one of which is this one Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets and I'm saying this is a duplicate I've got it on the PS1 I don't know if I've got it on 2 um, I'll have to check when I uh, come to catalogue these uh, next we have Star Wars uh, Lego the video game um, one of the Platinum Editions. I seem to recall having this growing up um, and enjoying it greatly, although there was, if I remember this one correctly, there was a level where you were in the Millennium Falcon um, and it was an absolute pain in the backside to get through. Uh, one that I've definitely already got, Shadow the Hedgehog. I think I've bought this two or three times now, hoping to get a decent copy of it. This one was just in a bundle. Um, but yep, one I I think I've seen this one on a car boot, but the chat was asking three or four pounds for, um, and my mum picked this one up for me for fifty pence this week. Uh, Stitch Experiment Six Two Six. I have no idea what the gameplay is going to be like, but it just looks like a, a spin off of Lilo and Stitch. Uh, okay, next a game again, one that I've got on another format, but not on the PS Two, and that is Enter the Matrix. Uh, I think I've got that on the GameCube and possibly the Xbox. And I'm seeing a duplicate in this pile. Um, so another one of the ones that my mum got me, um, Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Kind of looks familiar because it's at the bottom of this pile. Uh, another one uh, that she got me was Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness. I think I've got this but it's missing its manual. So this one has its manual so I will be... Uh, Swapping at least in the manual for a complete version. Uh, next, we got the Hulk. This was, yes, this was from a, a yard sale. Um, something that's a bit uncommon in the UK, but um, I spotted a an advert on Facebook where somebody had said we're doing a yard sale, come round, um, and so we did. Um, I was expecting, you know, maybe the combined with a few different houses on the streets to get together and do a combined yard sale and no it was just this one house who was having a big clear out they had loads of stuff to be fair um, and I got a couple of games from them that one and two PS3 games I think I got um, and they did the three of them for a quid so it was a decent deal I think and then finally on the PS2 we have one more snooker game and that is World Championship Snooker 2003 um, which is an earlier version of the one that I've got there on the PSP. Okay, where are we? 13 minutes. I'm going to call it there, I think. I really would like to get through the other games, though, so what I may do is just do a, a short 5-minute, 10-minute video for the PS3 and PSP games, um, which will be released either in the middle of the week or at weekend. Um, so as always, thank you for watching. Again, I apologise for the lack of videos recently, but part of this um, stuff that I'm doing now is I'm having a bit of a sort out. I'm going to get through as many videos as I can in one sitting, and I'll queue a few up that way. I shouldn't fall into this hole again of leaving uh, without a couple of videos for a week or two. Um, so thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.